This is Alan Kane. This is Jeremy Della. We're artists. We love folk art. And we're going to look in this programme at folk art old and new. And even now, people have little St Christopher's in their cars or on motorbikes and stuff. So it's totally... We still keep this, this tradition. Figurehead to have the top half person, bottom half boat. And maybe with one or two breasts exposed as well. I remember when I was... Preferably in, two. When I went to... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I went to see the Cutty Stark for the first time. It was about five or six, and they have a whole row of these topless women, basically. Lovingly painted. Figureheads. As you can imagine. Yes. I thought that was pretty cool. I think figureheads, these women on the front, were basically became personifications of the boat. It's like customising your vehicle. But also, I th they look to me like lucky charms. And I don't know... If well, they're a superstitious bunch, aren't they, the yeah. sailors? So it's like a St Christopher, or the equivalent of St Christopher, but mainly women. And even now, people have little St Christophers in their cars or on motorbikes and stuff. So it's totally... We still keep this, this tradition. We're going to see Stuart Hughes. Who is a painter and lives on this street. He paints lots of things for bikers. He modifies or... What, is it, what do you call it? Customises. Customises motorbikes. We're big fans of his work. We've known him for years now. And it's amazing what he can get up to in that little room, I have to say. It's a lot about fantasy and uh, sort of fantastical scenes and so on. So, Stuart, this is where the magic happens. If you say so, Jeremy. I do say so, absolutely. We love your work. We saw it years ago. I can't remember when we first I saw your work. I don't remember. But we saw an image somewhere of this, and we just thought, we need to find out who made this. And there it is. Yeah, that's it. Can you get it down? Yeah. God, still as good. It is amazing, isn't it? Put it on. Just no, you put it on, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it fits. It makes you look better. <laughs> I'm a bit thin, aren't I? It does suit you. <laughs> Why is that? The eyes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll head about you. <laughs> this was painted for uh, a guy called Al. And Al works uh, in a hospital. He runs the neurosurgical unit, sort of chief technician there. And when he came round, he said the helmet had to be anatomically correct because he'd be taking it into work and... The surgeons would be seeing it and they'd be looking at it and go, oh, the so-and-so, so-and-so, you've got too many teeth or whatever. And uh, he took it in, apparently. <laughs> they loved it. How, what do you think about the work you make? Do you think it's folk art or popular art? It's just paintings, you know. The customer gets in touch and says, can you paint this? And I paint it. That makes it slightly different from, an, from a regular kind of gallery artwork, doesn't it? The fact that it's slightly collaborative. Oh, yeah, that, that's the important thing to me. Yeah. Um, if somebody wants to call it art, that's fine. But I don't see it as art. I see it as just uh, me having fun painting and the customer getting what they wanted. Because I see it similar to the figureheads on the front of boats, often with the similar imagery of, of women or monsters and fantasy. I think when people decorate their bikes, they're within that tradition. <laughs> I've always had a bike. I can escape on it. I mean, you've got the drudgery of work and home and all the rest of it. The bike, that's freedom. You get on it, you're gone. It's a great feeling to ride a decent looking bike that's different to everybody else's. I guess everybody likes to stand out in the crowd and people say, oh, I really like your bike. It must feel good. What does it mean to have paintings on your bike as opposed to still a normal bike? I think you'll find every one of these bikes is special to the individual for various different reasons. And the stories behind the bike and the iconography and the imagery, that obviously means a lot, doesn't it? In 2010, my wife passed away and I bought the bike shortly afterwards. And I wanted to make sure she always rode with me, so I've had her image painted on the bike. So it's more than just decoration? Oh, it's far more than decoration. Any time I'm out on that bike, 
I can look down and I can see her looking back at me. I know she's always with me, protecting me on the road. In the whole of the biker community, you'll very rarely find any two bikes that are even similar. Um, almost as soon as you get it out of the shop, you're changing it on the way home. Right. We've gone to extremes with artwork and bikes that have been completely built from the ground up. But every biker I know in some way customises his ride, or her ride even. And do you see these bikes as artworks? Where is the art? in the bike, I mean, for you? Bikes can be like artwork. Um, I would quite happily go to a gallery and look at bikes in a gallery. And at rallies, we go to the motorcycle park and we look at all these different bikes and steal ideas from each other and things develop and move on. Um, it's just, it's almost a way, a way of life, really. All human life is here, more or less. Life, death and everything in between. I think what's important for me is you definitely think about the context in which it was made, who the people were, why they were doing it, how they did it, which is a very important part of it. It's a quite a traditional take, but even to have a traditional take on folk art is incredible and bizarre and surprising, so there's nothing wrong with that. I think it would be sad if people come to this exhibition and think that where the exhibition stops, folk art stopped. Because really, this energy, this creative energy, has been going on every day since the last piece of work was made and will go on forever. Yeah. It's just about people making stuff that's interesting, visually interesting. But I think it's a very kind of positive show about what it is to be human and to make things and to be alive and to be interested in the world around you and to, to be creative. Mm -hmm.